Recently, there has been a surge of incredible new Skyrim mods and I thought to myself, now or never is the appropriate time to revive my old video series, Skyrim Mods of the Moment, which showcases only the most interesting recent mods. So buckle up guys, these 9 Skyrim mods are definitely the best mods of the moment and, of course, very much Barge College Graduate approved. As someone who has been long time passionate about photography, both in the real and the virtual world, the first mod on our list has been, safe to say, long awaited and needed. Photo mode introduces the standard of most modern games to Skyrim, a well-equipped virtual photography tool. The photo mode can be opened from the system menu, just like in other games that utilize this feature. TFC command will be applied instantly, so now you can move the camera freely around your character or frame the scene you're creating. In the photo mode settings, there is pretty much everything you need to take the perfect shot. The grid can be useful for framing your image, and if you're anything like me as a photographer, you'll be quickly addicted to the rule of thirds. You can also change the field of view, and just a quick tip for shooting portraits, it's generally good to have a tighter FOV and add some depth of field to separate your subject from the background. In the time section, you're able to freeze time to help capture that perfect frame. You can also change the hour of the day, for example, if you want to get that beautiful golden hour effect in your photos. Poor weather isn't also a problem anymore, since you can just switch it from the UI to any weather of your liking. If you're photographing your own character, it's convenient to change the expression from the photo mode UI to convey different feelings in your images. To top it off, you can add filters and overlays such as this vignette effect. There are also more settings and effects, so I encourage you to try them out even if you're not big on virtual photography. I promise you, it's fun! From the mod configuration menu, you can change the hotkeys and photo mode settings. I find it extremely helpful to have the game paused while entering photo mode, so I recommend checking that box at least. But wait, there's even more. As the cherry on top of the cake, the photos you've taken can also be featured on your loading screens now. I think that is fun and absolutely adorable, especially these framed ones. To sum this mod up, if you have been using commands and different mods to take your screenshots, you probably don't need most of them anymore with photo mode. Finally in Nexus, a groundbreaking mod which has been long awaited. For us who enjoy playing in the first person, Improved Camera SE is an essential mod for an immersive Skyrim experience. Many of you might remember Enhanced Camera Mod from Old Rim, and this mod is inspired by that one and serves as a direct continuation to it. The core feature of improved camera is the player character's body being visible while playing in the first-person mode. You are now able to see your hands and body not only when fighting against enemies, but while riding a horse, crafting, transforming into a werewolf, and more. In Unmodded Skyrim, you're forced into third-person mode while doing these activities, but Improved Camera fixes this and lets you stay in the first-person view. Now you won't miss a detail of your amazing high-quality modded armors when you can just look down and admire the details of it or any other texture mods you might have installed recently. From the configuration menu, you can customize the mod and change the FOV of different activities to suit your preferences. This mod cranks up the immersion, and back in Old Rim, this mod never left my mod list. Safe to say that this is now the case in Special Edition 2. Improved Camera SE is a foolproof way to enhance the first-person Skyrim experience, and I think it's simply one of those must-have mods. A long time ago, I showcased a mod called A Cat's Life in my video, and back then I expressed being more of a dog person, even though I do love cats. Well, my prayers have been answered, since now we have the dog version of this mod, A Dog's Life. This mod improves the existing functionality of Skyrim's dogs, allowing you to purchase a pet dog from a breeder, or adopt a stray dog from the city streets if you're able to win its trust. The pet dogs can be given names, and you can play with them, assign them to your home, and of course, pet them and call them a good boy or a girl. Also, remember to set your pup as essential to save yourself from an inevitable heartbreak. A dog's life also adds new relief. items to the game, which can be bought or crafted. Some of the items increase the dog's carrying capacity, such as the harnesses and backpacks. 
If even after all this you require even more immersion from your dog, you can enable the needs feature. Now your dog will get hungry and has a happiness meter, which means you'll have to feed it regularly and keep it happy by playing ball and petting him or her often. So if you're in need of the goodest companion, this mod might be a great pick for you. Now, next on our list today, we have an absolutely amazing light armor pack. Traveler's armor pack is an armor which gets visually upgraded as you grow stronger and craft upgrades for it. In the beginning, the armor is very simple, just the shirt and the pants, and gradually you can upgrade it to be more powerful and defensive. There are also two versions of the hood with normally equipped one and the other one is lower down on the shoulders. And check out these kitty ears on Kashid characters. I'm absolutely in love with this armor. These kinds of simple armors that blend in and don't scream hey and the main character have a soft spot in my heart. The attention to detail is great and the upgrading is fun, not to even mention implemented well. There is also a black variant if you like that more. Whether you'd like to dress your follower with this armor or yourself, I hope you love it as much as I do. Here I have another fantastic mod to enhance our character's appearance, this time with accessories. Adventurer's magic backpack and a lantern adds a new craftable leather backpack with a lantern with many color choices. The lantern is fueled with magic and it emits colored light depending on the color of your lantern. There are also standalone magical lanterns available if you don't care for the backpack. The lore tells that these backpacks belong to the East Empire Company and the Sea of Ghosts is somehow connected to all of this. Putting the cryptic lore aside, you can get this unbelievably cute and useful backpack in 2K or 4K texture sizes, as well as with or without physics. Here I'm wearing 4K with physics and it looks perfect with my traveler's armors. If you wish to get lost in never-ending, dense fantasy forests, you might be interested in Fabled Forests. This mod overhauls the forests and trees of Skyrim to be tall and dense, while also being performance-friendly. Fabled Forests uses the tree assets from Happy Little Trees, which has been one of my favorite tree overhaul mods for some while alongside Nature of the Wildlands, which has been used to derive the tree placements for this mod. So this mod kinda combines the two in a way, which is really interesting to me as a fan of both of the mods. As you can see here, now the trees are huge and there are a lot more of them, 15,000 to be precise, sprinkled all across the province. Especially in Falkreath and Hafingar, the trees are towering over you while crossing the woodlands, creating a sense of mystery in these forests. In Whiterun, there are more pines now, but not too many, maintaining the lore-friendliness of the barren tundra. In the Morthal Swamp, we have a good mix of trees, withered and barely standing. Rift forests, on the other hand, stay relatively the same, but just more lush and colorful. It might already be apparent, but Fabled Forests doesn't aim to be the most realistic tree mod. It more so enhances the existing art style of Skyrim, keeping things fairly friendly to the original. To add to the injury, Fabled Forests is also fully compatible with Seasons of Skyrim. This tree mod is perfect for you if you want mythical feeling forests with a small performance cost. Next, we have another mod to brighten up the nature of Skyrim from one of my favorite modders. Skoglendi is a grass overhaul mod which is designed with gameplay, memorable environments and great performance in mind. The grass looks realistic and beautiful in all regions of Skyrim, partly because it isn't very saturated and keeps a natural tone of color. The foam mod installer comes with a lot of add-ons, such as the optional green white run tundra grass and an ini grass options which fit perfectly with Skoglendi. The grass in this mod is only 1k texture size, which contributes to the good performance, but of course, if you like to stare your grass up close, it might not be enough for you. By the way, this grass mod works the best with an ENB or community shaders, but it can work without one as well. If you're in need of a performance-friendly, realistic and lush grass mod, I do recommend Skoglendi. Maybe someone here remembers that my favorite faction in the game is the Companions. Those bold bastards just charred me since my first playthrough. Companions Dialogue Bundle is a perfect mod for someone like me. It adds around 120 lines of new fully voiced dialogue to the Companions characters. You want to come hunting with me? 
It takes more than just shooting arrows, you know. The mod creator wanted to keep everything as close to the vanilla as possible and flesh out the existing characters more with new dialogue. Maybe we could open a tavern someday, where the mead flows and the bards sing of our epic battles. The voices are created using AI mixed with vanilla dialogue and splicing, and the result sounds good to me. Ah, my mistake. Kodlak? You'll most likely find him in his quarters in your Vasker. For the last mod of the video, we have something related to the previous mod, although not quite. Brawl Lines Expansion and Fixes is an essential mod for anyone who likes to have fist fights with some of the Skyrim NPCs. It fixes some weird things when brawling and adds a good dozen more lines for NPC bystanders to say while you're fighting somebody. You think I'm afraid of you? Ah. Come on, keep your guard up and wait for an opening. These lines are created for the most part from the existing vanilla lines, keeping things friendly to the original. Now bystanders might be cheering for the fight and no longer say unfitting things, making everything about and around the fight make more sense. If you're interested in supporting the channel or just crave for some extra BCG content, go check out the channel's Patreon. In there I often upload exclusive videos and extended shorts for my patrons and updates on upcoming videos. I'd also like to thank all of the people who support the channel on Patreon and an especial shout out to my Tavern's legendary patrons Star095 and Ryan Ulrich. Each day I feel your support and I can't explain how much I appreciate that. Thank you for watching the video! I hope you enjoyed these new mods as much as I did. I can't believe how stacked this video is in regards of quality mods. This summer has been crazy if we look at Skyrim modding. All the links to the mods can be found in the description box as well as my mod list, technical details and more. If you like what I do, you can help me by subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell, which also gets you notified about a new video. What a great deal! See ya!